Today I'll help you set up the Razorpay payment gateway on your site so that if a customer wants to buy your product like this, they can see this Razorpay option on their checkout page and after clicking it, they can pay using any of these options and you'll receive this money in your bank account. I'll also show you how to refund payments via Razorpay and how to find analytics like this to help increase your sales. But before that, you should know that as you add more plugins and products to your site, it will inevitably slow it down and then customers will start getting stuck at loading screens, which can really lose you a lot of money. So before we add Razorpay to your site, let's just take a minute. Let's add your website to Google's page speed. And after doing that, if you get a score that is less than 90, then it means that we need to first fix this. Your website is too slow. And then after that, I'll show you how to add Razorpay. There's many speed plugins in the market, but they're either paid or they have hundreds of settings. So my team made our own speed plugin called Airlift, which is completely free. They've built successful plugins before, so you can trust they know their stuff. So after installing Airlift, you just need to add your site like this. And with one click, it does everything needed to make your site up to three times faster and get you a 90 plus score like this. There's no hidden conditions here and you can keep it activated for free as long as you want and your sites will remain fast. So click the link in description and you can use it first. Then move on to the next step. First thing first, let's sign up for a Razorpay account by going to this page and entering a mobile number. We'll receive an OTP for verification. So let's enter that here. Then click Submit OTP. Then enter your name, and then we'll choose the platform that we'll be using. So let's select Website here, then click here, and let's open our website in a new tab. Copy the URL from here, then come back and paste it here. Now select your business type, then click Continue, and fill in the rest of these details. Then click continue. After that, fill in your email address, then click here. Now open your email inbox in another tab and look for an email like this. Copy the OTP from here, come back and paste it here. Then click here. And now we need to complete our KYC details here. So click on the business address and fill in the details. And one by one, fill up the other stuff as well. Now in the bank details, you should enter the bank that you want to use for the payments for Razorpay and where you want to receive the money. So be careful about that. And select ID proof, then click here, then click continue. Now choose file. Select it. Then click continue and click Submit KYC. Now your verification will take approximately eight to 10 working days. Now let's add Razorpay to your website. For that, let's go to our WordPress dashboard, click on Plugins, then Add New, search for Razorpay for WooCommerce, and here it is. Now click Install, and after that, Activate. Then go to WooCommerce, then Settings, and then on the Payments tab, find Razorpay, and click Manage. Here you need to enter your Razorpay API key and key secret. These are unique identifiers that connect your website to Razorpay securely, ensuring that the money from each sale reaches you without any issues. So to get these details, go to the Razorpay dashboard, click on the API keys and plugin section on the left panel, then click here, click generate keys, copy the details, and then go back to the WordPress dashboard, go to your WooCommerce setting page and paste them here. Then save your changes. Now, let's test our transaction to see whether Razorpay is working or not. So let's go to our website, open the shop page, add a product to the cart, open the cart, click proceed to checkout. Now here, let's fill in our name and address details, place the order, and then the Razorpay payment window opens. So let's select our mode of payment, enter details, and the order is successfully placed. Now, we need to see whether we got the email and the money from this transaction. So let's open our inbox and we can see that we have received a payment notification here. Now on the Razorpay dashboard as well, we can see that the notification has come. So after a successful test, you can switch the payment gateway from test mode to life mode. And now your website is ready to accept real payments. Now, what do you do if a customer requires a refund? Don't worry, the dashboard makes this really simple. Click on transactions. Here you can see the list of transactions and the status of it. Now select the transaction you want to refund, click Issue Refund. Now enter the amount you want to refund. And after entering the amount, click Issue Refund. Now if you refresh the page, you can see the status of the refund. So it's straightforward, efficient, and keeps you in control of every financial aspect. 
And now, let's make Razorpay feel like a natural part of your website. We're going to customize its appearance to match your website's branding. So let's go over to the Razorpay dashboard. Go to the accounts and settings section. In settings, under checkout settings, click on branding. Here you'll see the options to change colors and ID logo. So let's start with the color scheme. Uh, choose a color. Now click save. Now add a logo. Now choose file. Select it. Click here. Now, all right, it's uploaded. And refresh. And now in the preview window, I can see what it looks like. Now let's dive into Razorpay's analytics and reporting features, which are incredibly useful for tracking your sales and understanding your customers better. So back in the Razorpay dashboard, let's go to the analytics section. And here you have a comprehensive view of your payment data. So if you see this graph, it shows your payment volume over time. You can adjust the date range here to see your performance of specific periods. Now scroll down and you can see more detailed reports. You have transaction breakdowns, refund data, and more. Each section provides valuable insights. So you can click on payments to see a detailed list of transactions. And here you can filter it by status like successful, failed, etc. Now this level of detail is perfect for analyzing your sales trends and consumer behavior. Also, in this three minute video, I'm showing you how to triple your site speed for free using our new speed plugin. So you're gonna really thank me for this. Do check it out and I'm gonna see you there.